All right, our next speaker is Jeff Rommel. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Jeff is a senior vice president at Nationwide, which is on your side. He was appointed to his current role last month. He started with Nationwide in 1985 as a claims representative with Allied Insurance, a nationwide company. He's held various leadership roles with the organization. He currently serves as the United Way of Central Iowa 2023 campaign chair, vice chair of the Greater Des Moines Partnership Board of Directors, and is on the Icon Water Trails Board of Directors as well. Jeff, I was trying to think about your punishment. I thought, well, maybe we could change your mascot to a gecko or something, and then, and then I thought... <laughs> I thought, you know, actually at our next Greater Des Moines committee meeting, we, we got you a nice pair of pressed khakis, a bright red polo, and uh, I think you can introduce yourself as Jeff from State Farm. Sound good? <laughs> Please welcome Jeff to the stage. Well, good morning, everybody. It's such an honor to be part of this uh, great event. You know, I'm a big believer that feedback truly is a gift. So what I wanted to do today is share with you a time when I received some feedback, some of the most powerful feedback I've ever received. It truly shaped who I am as a leader. And by the way, it all revolves around a root beer float. So years ago, I had an opportunity to move um, with Nationwide from Den uh, Des Moines to Denver and took on a role leading our regional operations out there. And when I got to Denver, we were in a single story building, but we were moving to a high rise. And so when we moved to the high rise, we actually occupied the 15th, 16th, and 17th floors of this new building. And it was a great building, but when we got to the building, we recognized, gosh, our interaction, our engagement, our collaboration just wasn't the same. So we took it upon ourselves as a leadership team to say, what can we do to change that dynamic and make it a little bit more interactive within our operations? And one of the ideas we came up with as a leadership team was, well, food always works. So we, we said we're going to have some food days uh, over on the, in the weeks and months ahead. And so our very first food day uh, was on a Thursday. And um, we, we went ahead and had food on the 15th, 16th, and 17th floors. And my leadership team and I each hosted one of the various food stations on those floors. And I, along with one of my leaders by the name of Ruth Ann, hosted the 17th floor root beer float station. And that day came and went, and we just had an incredible event. Such high engagement, so much fun, I scooped so much ice cream, and I felt really good about the day. And I went home that night and I sat at my dinner table with Tracy and my two boys and shared with them how awesome my day was, how fun, you know, how fun that event had been. Went to bed excited, couldn't hardly sleep. I got up bright and early the next morning, engaged, ready to get to the office, and I got there really early. And so I'm in my office and just getting my day started, and there's a knock on my door. And I look up and it's Ken, one of our long-term, high-performing employees at my doorway. And I said, Ken, good morning. It is so good to see you here this morning. Hey, by the way, wasn't yesterday awesome? And Ken smiled back at me and he goes, well, first of all, good morning. Second of all, about yesterday, do you mind if I give you a little bit of feedback? And I said, well, sure, Ken, come on in. So Ken came in and sat down and the conversation went something like this. So Ken looked at me and he said, you know, yesterday, that event on the 15th floor, it was incredible. We had a lot of fun. The 16th floor, it was pretty good too. But the 17th floor, not so much. And by the way, the 17th floor was your floor. And I looked back at Ken and I said, oh, for goodness sakes, Ken, I am so sorry. Did we not get you a root beer float? <laughs> and Ken said, no, I got my root beer float, but let me give you a little bit of feedback. So when I came to your root beer float station, you and Ruth Ann were engaged in a conversation. And it must have been something really important because that conversation continued on and on and on. And I grew impatient. I grabbed my root beer float and I went back to my workstation. But you know, what I came to that root beer float station for was for you to hand me my root beer float. And you didn't do that. And in the moment, I almost fell out of my chair because Ken was absolutely spot on with his feedback. I could have engaged with Ruth Ann any time of the day or night, but I didn't. I was doing it in the moment. And my job, as Ken told me, was to engage with him, 
My job was to thank him for doing a really good job. My job was to encourage him to continue to be a high performer. And my job was to hand him that root beer float. So my encouragement to you today is to learn from my mistake and to listen to Ken's feedback. And when you have that occasion, that opportunity to engage with your team, make sure you make them the priority. Make sure you find reasons to thank them for a job well done. Make sure you encourage them to perform at a really high level. And most importantly, always, always, always hand them their root beer floats. So, thank you.